Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at another from the Premier Collection. This is the Zondervan Thin Line Bible, large print. And, of course it is NIV. Let's take a look. It comes in this nice sturdy box, just like the others. And it shows back here, hand-bound, Smythe sewn, art gilt, 36 GSM paper. Really nice. Let's get this out of the way. And like all the others, it does come in this nice, elegant paper, wrapped, really nice. Of course, I've already opened it and used it. All right, so we have a goat skin cover. Nice and elegant. It's very flexible. Leather lining. They call this genuine leather, but I, I think it's better than that. I think it's feels a lot like calfskin to me. I'm not going to say that it is, but it does feel like calfskin. So it's really soft. Um, doesn't have a pronounced grain, but it's not smooth either. So it does have a little bit of a grain, perimeter stitched. Silver etching or printing. I guess these are kind of stamped. These are stamped in rather than like the others that are, that are printed. So silver and then blue under silver for the art gilt. And of course edge lined. And then it has the gilt line. Really nice. It's flexible. Seriously flexible. Now you can't roll it up. And, well you can roll it a little bit. But you can't. It's not like cloth or anything like that. So it's not too thin. But it is thinner than some of the higher grade leathers. But the, the price does reflect that. You know, you, you can't really compare this to a $200 Bible because we're looking at it closer to a $100 Bible. And then some a couple of thick end sheets. Then it has the presentation page on thick end sheet. Now you notice here we've got some uh, blue and some gray highlights. And that it doesn't have other family pages. That That's it. The paper is 36 GSM. To me, to my eye, this paper doesn't look quite as opaque as the others from the uh, Premier Collection. That could just be a um, my imagination, I guess. But it to me, it doesn't quite look as opaque. It is made in China, but now it does not feel like a Bible made in China. It doesn't just automatically make me think, oh, that's made in China. It's a good quality Bible. Dark print, very dark print. <clears throat> I don't have any issues turning these pages. They are smooth, but not, um, they don't feel coated. They do feel smooth, but not coated, not rough textured. But I don't have any issues turning the pages. No glare under direct light. And there's our layout. Double column setting with footnotes in the footer. Now this one doesn't have color, like you see in the other editions that we have red and, and blue. This one has gray. But the gray is for the the title. You have a little vertical bar, and for the footnotes, and that's it as far as any extra color. Uh, the section headings and the drop caps for the chapter number are black. Now the font they call it 11.4. To my eye, it looks more like maybe a nine and a half in that range. Partially, that's due to uh, the design of the font and all that. This is designed by 2K Denmark. My favorite designers, 2K Denmark rocks. And this is the um, the uh, comfort print text that, that they designed for the NIV. So this is a different font than what you'll find in the New King James and in the King James for Thomas Nelson. That's interesting the way they've, they've placed the, the footnotes down here. About 10 words across, which is about perfect for me. I, my preference is between 10, 12 words in that range. This is perfect. And the, the poetry looks really good. Poetic settings look nice. You can see this has no issues staying open. You, you won't be fighting this on page one. You won't be fighting that at all. Stays open, no trouble. No problem. It is a black letter text. And has three satin ribbons, three eighths inch, three different colors. So we have a, a kind of a lighter blue, but not light blue. About a medium and kind of a dark, but not real dark. 
Th three different shades of blue. Looks really nice. And you can see the flexibility of this thing. It's just ridiculously flexible. It's easy to make it do anything you want to. I like it. I, I would like for this to be a little bit more opaque, though. I do I do see it. And you can see here, it, it does not look like it's uh, line matched. So this edition doesn't look line matched like the others do. And you can see here, black letter. And in the back, this one also doesn't have a lot of the other features that we find in some of the others. No concordance, no maps. It, it does have the table of weights and measures, and then that's it. Then we have our end sheets again. But the overall size, let's take a look at the size. <clears throat> Use this one because it's a little easier to see. We have 10, 10 by 6 and 3 quarter. If I'm not mistaken, that is less than an inch. Let's get the spine. It's about an inch and an eighth. But the block itself is less than an inch. But that's a very thin bottle. It's easy to handle, easy to hold. I love the way it looks and feels. Let's do a few comparisons. <clears throat> this one is the Heritage from the Premier Collection. It, it also has blue under silver and single column. Now, I think this paper is more opaque than this paper. Let's just take a look and see. See what you think. See what you think about this. This font is larger. And to me, maybe this font's a little darker. That could be why the paper has a little bit more show through. Could be because this font is darker. Because this, this does look darker to my eye. Now this single column is just pretty. That's, that, that's just pretty. There's how these two compare. This one is, um, the footprint is a little bit smaller, but not, not a lot smaller. It's not a massive amount smaller. But it's quite a bit thicker, about twice as thick. But I, I do love this one. Now, this one is the Quintel. Now, I don't have the NIV Quintel. Quintel, but the design is is basically the same. This is the New King James. Now this is a thicker leather, and this is thicker, well, more expensive paper. This is a more expensive Bible, and I'm not comparing quality between these two because the prices reflect their quality. This is about twice the price. But just to give you an idea, this is 11 point font, so that's why I'm calling this one more like a. Well, that, that could be more like a 10 point. But I measure it closer to a nine, nine and a half. But there's more to the measurements than just measuring the font. A lot to the typefaces. A lot to them. So that's that's a nice one there. But that's how they compare. This one is the ESV Omega. And the reason I compare it is because it is the most similar in size. Now this one also is, is uh, the higher quality. And the price does reflect the higher quality. But you can see here, the the size is, this might be a touch larger than this one. And I think this one's a 9. So I'm going to call that a 9.5 or a 10. In that range, like I say, there's a lot to it. There's, there's more to it than that. But the paper is about the same. This is a little bit more of, a, of an ivory color. This is whiter. But I think this is easier to turn than this is. I'm having more trouble turning these pages. Not that I have trouble turning these pages, but this is I find these easier to turn. But I find them very comparable as far as their quality. I mean, this is a thicker leather and this is a higher grade paper, but for the price, I can't say that I mean, that, that's not bad. I'm not yeah, that's not bad at all. Let's just leave it at that. Now I, I do like these these spine ribs. I, that would be pretty with spine ribs. 
And then we have the Thomas Nelson Premier Collection. This is the New King James. Now this one is a little thicker because it does have uh, concordance and maps in the back. Now this one, you can see the difference in paper. I think they're supposed to be the same paper. And you can see for yourself if you see any differences in the in the opacity. It could just be that this print is dark. This might be a larger print than this one. I, I believe it is. I believe it's a larger print. That, so that might be a 9.5. It might be a 9. In that range. Still. You know, there's a lot to it. But they're easy to read. I find them easy to read. See, this is a reference edition. It's got the references in the bottom. This just has the footnotes in the bottom. But now this one also has color. So the colors do stand out to me. I do like the way the colors look. So when you see color compared to no color. Well, well black's a color. But they're both nice Bibles. They really are. But that's our look at the NIV large print thin line from Zondervan. I like this Bible. I like it a lot. Super flexible, easy to handle, easy to read. That's that's just a beautiful text. I love that text. So if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, post them in the comments. And let's see, I did get this in exchange for an honest review. So if you have any any other questions, and also I'll post links to BibleBuyingGuide.com where you'll see more about the specs and, and you'll see like 40, 50 high-res photos. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.